This is Lesson 22 Homework, Module 7, Grade 2. Write your name. Don't copy mine. Each unit length on both number lines is 10 centimeters. So unit lengths are the lengths in between the hash marks. These are hash marks. Units are what we are counting. The units are 10 centimeters, so these are 10 centimeters apart. Not drawn to scale means you can't measure them. 10 centimeters is a lot longer than this. So we're calling it 10 centimeters, but it isn't really 10 centimeters. That's what not drawn to scale means. Show 20 centimeters more than 35 centimeters on the number line. So we want 20 more than 35. So let's start at 35, and we want 20 more. We're counting by tens. So we want 20 more. 10, 20. That's 55. Show 30 centimeters more than 65 on the number line. So we're going to start at 65, and we want 30 more counting by 10. 10, 20, that's 30 more. 75, 85, 95. Write an addition sentence to match each number line. You can write it here, or you can write it next to each number line. I'm going to write it here. The first one, I'm going to write it here next to the number line. Uh, 20 more than 35, so that started with the 35, added the 20 and we equaled 55. This one we started at 65. We added 30 and it equaled 95. Done. Each unit length on both number lines is 5 yards. Now this obviously is not 5 yards, but we're going to call it 5 yards. Uh, now we have 35 yards less, so that means we're counting by fives. We're counting by fives. Show 35 yards less than 80 yards. So we're counting backwards when we're talking about less. So if we're going to count backwards, let's start at the other end and go back. So less than 80, which means we're going to start at 80 and go back 35, and we're counting five at a time. Put our units on there. Oh, and now that I think of it, let's put our units back up here too. These are all centimeters, so they're CMs. And Y. Yards are YD. And we're going to go 35, back 35, counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, right there. If you know where 80, I mean, you subtract 35 from, you can just count backwards by fives too. But uh, we could subtract it, and we're, we're going to have to subtract it anyway. Eighty minus 35. Now, 80 minus 40 would be 40. That means we're going to have taking five less, so we're going to have five more. So this is 45 yards. And you could subtract that vertically too. That would work. Show 25 yards less than 100 on the number line. So we're going backwards from 100 now. And we're going to go back 25 counting by fives. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. We're going to stop there. If we count backwards by fives, it's 95, 90, 85, 80, 75. And if you know your 25s, 25, 50, 75, a dollar, right, quarters, you can know that 20, 100 minus 25 is going to be 75. And so our subtraction sentence 100, just like that. 100 minus 25 equals 75. Next page. 
Laura's meter strip got cut off at 37 centimeters. That means it just got cut. She had a piece of paper or something. It was a strip. It was a meter long. She's using, using it to measure things. And it got cut somewhere at, at the beginning, right at the 37 centimeter mark. Uh, to measure the length of her screwdriver, she writes, well, okay, I'll start here at the 37, and it goes to about 51, so I'm going to call it 51, and um, so I'll subtract the 37 from the 51. And Tom says it's easier to move the screwdriver over 3 centimeters. What is, oh, sorry, TAM, that's an A, TAM. What is Tam's subtraction sentence? Explain why she's correct. So Tam is going to start here. Instead of being 51 minus 37, Tam's sentence is going to be 40. She wants to subtract 40. This is three more, so she's going to be subtracting 40 which is an easier number and instead of starting at 51 she's going to start at 54 so her sentence is going to be 54 minus 40 which is much easier to solve mentally 14 now why is she correct this is just like the tape diagram subtraction method uh, the idea is uh, if you add the same to both numbers, you get easier numbers to subtract. So just write that. Uh, if you add the same number to And if we want to use some math vocabulary, the minuend, that would be the minuend. And that's the subtrahend, and that's the difference. So as long as you add the same number to, you could write to the, to the minuend and the subtrahend, or you could just say to both numbers. You could just say to both numbers. you can subtract easier numbers. And the answer will be the same. Or you could say the difference, right? That's the answer to subtraction, right? Or the result of subtraction. The difference will be the same. Is the same. Okay. Alice measured her belt to be 22 inches long using a yardstick, but she didn't start her measurement at zero. What might be the two endpoints of her belt on her yardstick? Write a subtraction sentence to match your idea. I gotta draw a picture of this or I'm just never gonna be able to figure it out. So let's see. Her belt, this belt is gonna look just like a piece of tape, a tape diagram here. Uh, so this is 22 inches long. But her yardstick, she didn't start at zero. So what's an easy number to start at? If you don't start at zero, um, you could start it at. Let's draw the yardstick here. Uh, right. Here's the whole yardstick. And so if, if this, this is zero, what's an easy number to start at? That's I mean, we're going to add 22 to anything, and it's not going to be zero. Let's start at 10. Uh, so 10 is an easy number to start with. So the two endpoints of her belt on her yardstick would be, here's the 10, and then what would this be? 
if she starts at 10 and it's 22 more, then this has to be 32. Write a subtraction sentence to match your idea. Okay, so the subtraction sentence is uh, 32. You can use different numbers. You don't have to use 10 and 32. You could use 20 and 42. Uh, you could use 100. Uh, that would be kind of tricky. But 32 minus 10, and 10 is an easy number to subtract also, so that's a good one, uh, equals 22. And all we need now is the difference is 22 inches. And we should have inches in our in our picture too. The difference is 22 inches. All right, that's everything we need to have. Uh, what might be the two endpoints? We've shown that in our picture. And we have the subtraction sentence, and we have an answer statement, the difference is 22 inches. Then we have Isaiah ran 100 meters on a 200 meter track. He started running at the 19 meter mark. On what mark did he finish his run? So here's the track. It's a 200 meter track. Let's make it really long because 200 is a big number, right? He ran 100 meters, but he started at 19. Well, do really, does it matter that the track is 200 meters long? So if he starts at the 19 meter mark and he ran 100 meters, he's going to finish his run. Right, let's say he starts here at 19. He starts at 19. Here's Isaiah. He's running. And he runs, let's call this 100 meters. So we have 19. We have 100, so this has to be 119. Isaiah finished at 119 meters M.